Hello Nigeria, hello Africa. You're welcome to yet another edition of Sports Business with Orufo Ezaga. You're watching Plus TV Africa and we're reaching you live from our studios in Victoria Island, Lagos. Today we have another interesting package for you. Today it feels like Tuesday basketball because, you know, I do two programs on, 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 in, in the media every day. Both happen on, on Tuesdays. This morning I spoke with a guy called um, Babalola Okweemi. Um, he's, he, he's the CEO of Wema, sorry, Weber Engineering Works. He, he's very invested in basketball. But that was on radio. And today, this afternoon, sorry, I'm going to be speaking with a man who's been in basketball virtually all of his life. He's a very authoritative figure in, in Nigerian basketball. And he's also, you know, occupying roles outside of the country where he's, you know, the president of the Africa Zone 3 with, the, the, with FIBA. FIBA is the world, body, the world governing body for basketball. Today, we'll, we'll be speaking with Cornell Sam Amedu. Uh, like I said, he's, he's, uh, he's a member of the MBBF, that's the Nigerian Basketball Federation, and he's also the president of the Africa Zone 3 of FIBA. Colonel Ahmed would have a lot to say to us today about what needs to be done to make basketball a commercial success in this country. Basketball is unarguably, you know, you know, the second most popular sport in Nigeria. As a matter of fact, in all of Africa, and that's after football. The point is, why has basketball failed over the years to realize its staggering potential? Cornel Amedu has been there, he's done that, and he's been there for over maybe as much as half, it, half a century, and he's got a lot that he's going to be saying to us. I would encourage you to stick with us for the next 45 minutes, because what you hear is going to change your mind about, could change your mind, sorry, about what you think of sports business, what you think of basketball, and it could open you or your friend or your family to you know, an opportunity or two, to a new way of looking at basketball and looking at sports generally and it could open an opportunity of you or two for you or your organization all right we're going to go on a short break make sure you stay with us you know i'm giving you time to um, get some water to drink or something to refocus and and be prepared for what you're going to hear and probably to invite a friend or two to join you on this program when we return colonel sam amedu will be with us and the business will begin Hello there, you're welcome back to the program Sports Business with Orufo Ezaga. My name is Orufo Ezaga and we're reaching you live from Plus TV Africa, our studios in Victoria Island, Lagos. Joining me now on the program via Zoom from the United States is Colonel Sam Amedu. Hello, Colonel, how are you? Uh, I am very, very fine. Uh, good afternoon out there. Yeah, good, good afternoon. See, Colonel, somebody saw the poster that I posted of you being on this program, and he says, this is going to be an interesting program. All right, so um, I hope there's plenty you have to tell us that um, would, would open our eyes to what's going on in basketball, you know, at least why it's struggling to be a commercial success in Nigeria. Yeah, you've been in the business for a long, long time. Let's look at basketball. What was it like, you know, in the in the days when you started to play, and what is the picture like today? Well, yes, um, obviously, the picture is different. Mm. Let me start from, your, from what you have on your screen. You, you wrote domestic basketball stunted by infighting. Uh, to some extent, you, you will be, be right. However, uh, 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 the talk of, of infighting is just an excuse from a lot of us in the, the basketball circle mm -hmm. to we'll cover our shortcomings. Okay. Why do I say that? Presently, there is no real fighting. 
Okay. Agreed that uh, between 2017 for for the world, there was infighting in the sense that there were so-called in quotes now two factions. Okay. But but that has since been settled. There is only one Nigerian basketball federation, and we know who the leader is. We know who the board members are. Hmm. As recognized by the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports, recognized by uh, FIBA Africa and, and uh, FIBA World. So any talk of, of him fighting, stunted by him, by him fighting, is just, is just an excuse. Okay. Uh, to, the, to the point directly, we are lagging behind it because of poor leadership. See, any pull as that. And uh, I'm not saying I all leadership in the sense I'm not saying that the, the, the that, that we the leaders are poor. We so but we come with uh, very good ideas, but when we get into office, we sell ourselves to psycho fancy. Mm. We refuse to take those uh, those, those decisions, even though it may not be palatable to us, but will be in the best interest of the sport. So well, that is the first part. And uh, stemming from this poor leadership is the issue of lack of planning. Now you are talking about uh, why is basketball not, not as, uh, as green or not as business oriented or not making uh, positive returns like, like so many sports. Nigerian basketball is the number one viable market in Africa, why we have the players, we have the, the market, the sponsorship. But however, as you lay your bed, so you will lie here on it. What is our marketing plan? As I speak to, to you, every league in Africa have concluded their, their league. Every other federation have, con have concluded their, their league. We are in the middle of the September. But my federation, of which I am a member, we have just started the, the first phase of our Zenith League, of which the girls will just play like five matches or six, and we'll call it first phase. Then they go to another venue, play another three to four games. Then they will say, oh, we have, we have concluded a, a, a league. How do, you, how do you market such a league? You can market it. As we, as we even speak, the men have not, have, have not started. Meanwhile, speaking as the president of FIBA Africa Zone 3 now, every course are starting their 2024-2025 league this September. Wow. In a week or in a week's time or two. But my country, my country, Nigeria, we, we have not even started the, the men's league. So for lack of planning. So when does your calendar start? For if you want sponsors to come and sponsor your, your league, you jump, there must be a consistency. Sponsor because sponsors have time that they go through their own budgets. Right now, anybody talking about sponsorship for the for the league for even, even next year is already late because corporate organizations are already drawing up their own budget for next year. So we have not done the league for this year. So how are we going to, to, to talk about next year? So hey, it all boils down to, to lack of, of, of planning. Two facilities what have we done regarding our facilities i am happy you are a tv uh, uh you are from the tv world marketing is is important tell tell television eyeballs what the eyeballs see influence the marketing to a very large extent to get sponsor to, to sponsor you even as we speak, there are uh, the, the super 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 egos are playing right now. There are some fans that that are complaining in a chat group that that, that I belong to. 
that the that the the uh, images being shown by by Nigerian uh, TV outlet is very very poor, and uh, they they, what they have been advising people to, to go to 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 the channel two five four. I don't know where. Maybe, maybe that is on DSTV. Mm. So if the images are poor, why would I, as a sponsor, put my money? On it, our sports hall don't have dressing rooms, and I say this with all good, good authority. There are there are dressing rooms there; they, they are not functional. Our national stadium is our number national stadium in Lagos. Hmm. For for example, is our premier sports hall, but but the dressing room don't don't function. The toilets. I'm, I'm bringing it to the lower level now. I'm, I'm not going to us talking big, big uh, grammar. Yeah. The toilets are not functioning. And I say this because I have a team. My team used to play in the league, but no, no, no more now. Uh, we, we, but, but our team is, is still there. At times, we go and play games. Yeah, there is no dressing room. So when it is half time, we, we, we go behind the hall, go and sit to talk about the game, is, is that same place by uh, one side, people who are, people are selling beer, on the other side, people are, are, are urinating. <laughs> the ambience to even invite sponsors is, is not even there. Yeah, yeah. And so, 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 so that is that. Facilities. Hmm. Yes. For sponsors to come to you, your facility must be up to date. It doesn't need to be a facility that can sit up to 7,000 or 8, even 2,000 people. The Arabs, they are clubs. When you go there, you will see their gyms can only take 1,000 or 2,000 people. Yeah. But it will have space for, for advertisement board, mm -hmm. place for for the camera. And the, the camera that they use is the one that have what you people call the best eye view. Camera that can take the whole house. Our house is square. They are much boxes so that you can only film a particular action at the same time so it looks like the ball is just running from left to right left to right but when it is i mean sorry i i cannot teach you tv uh, filming no it's all, it's all I right just say say what you because the audience would be listening to what you have to say yes i am saying this because i am a technical Delhi gates, and these are the part of the things that we, that we are taught of marketing, mm. how to film games, how to make make it acceptable to the audience so that they can uh, 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 be, the, I mean, to, to raise the entertainment value of the sport. That is not there. Another issue, the favoritism. <coughs> Every year we want to play a league, you, you will find new, new teams. Where are they, they coming from? You will hear that, oh, they have bought a, a sport. I don't understand this talk of buying a sport. I thought league is a promotional league. You start from the third, third the division. You, if, you, if, you, if you are among the top two or top four, depending on the rule, you go to the next division. Next, you will go to the, to, to the to the next division and on and on and on. My team, Dodan Warriors, and in the same vein, Ebun Kokomex, those two teams started from the third, third division. So we moved from third division to the second division. From second division, then, then we went to the first division, then first division we now move to the, the Premier League. Okay, Colonel, let me let me come in here, right? Okay, yes. you have outlined all of these issues with basketball in Nigeria, and, and you know um, they make absolute sense, right? But yes. here's the question that anybody watching the program, I imagine, would ask: You've been in basketball for decades, and you've yes. been in positions of power, right? Yeah. How come you know this much? And yet there's still so little that is done. How come you're not able to influence 
the change that we all desire to see. Yeah, but, uh, thank you. That is a very good uh, question. As I speak to you, mm. I, I have been ostracized from the, from the Nigerian Basketball Federation. And what, what do I mean? Uh, I, 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 I have been removed from all the whole communities. Why? Because I always speak my own mind. And I say, when you are doing the wrong thing, I, I, I will tell you. Mm. I am not in a I'm not in a popularity contest with, with, with anyone. Mm. I have paid my own dues and so nobody can hoodwink me. But let me let me just just expand on that. The, 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 the current board that came in in 2017. I was among those that was was instrumental to the to the um, um, establishment of this board. Mm. Everybody in Nigerian Goon basketball will tell you. We you came on board and said, okay, guys, we need to make a change. But I will tell you right now, nothing has changed. If if we want to start saying things, I will be here till next week. There are mm. over a hundred things. Mm. But when I said, guys, this is not how to do things, and no, and when is your turn? You will do it that way, and blah, blah, blah. Right now, I will tell you, check the committee list of the Nigerian Basketball Federation. My name has been removed from all. By the same board that I have to put in place. Okay, fine. I am not A. If I'm there, I am not. It doesn't say whether I love it or not. But the fact is the same. But why? There are things that are going on that are unethical, that are that an uh, animical to the interest of the growth of the game, and even though yes, I like I said, I was among those that 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 put the board in place. I will not tolerate that. So now I am even a, I, I have been that's why I say I have been be, be ostracized. If they could remove me from the from the board, they, they could have done so, but unfortunately they did. They, they cannot. Or let me say. Those those people that are in, involved can cannot. So let's let's leave that. So don't say I have been there. When you are there and you are speaking the truth, people don't don't want you. Now let me give an example. Nigerian basketball federation is crying. There is no money. There is no money. We, we don't have funds. But we have people wearing a kit a sponsor. I mean, um, we have people wearing branded kits how much is that to that country to that company that we are wearing their kits okay you see all these kids that you are showing us the past two mm. nothing we don't okay like this girl now uh, there is a badge on her shirt mm. how much is that company contributing but we are advertising for that company and the reason being that the the, the 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 leaders of the board have an interest in this company. So how can our national team be advertising for the leaders of the of the, the, the of the federation? And they are selling to those those kids. They have a shop in VI. They are they are selling those kids. How much of those money they are selling comes to to the board? No way. But tomorrow you will hear that, oh, uh, uh, the board doesn't have funds. Uh, the members will come and uh, contribute funds. Or uh, uh, one member has, has used his, his funds. Uh, the, the, the ministry should, should uh, refund them. So it is a conflict of interest. So okay. these are part of it. Okay, so, Colonel, let me just come in here. Because you're making a, a claim now, right? How do we verify yes. this claim? And, and, also, and also, I'd like to make this point now that anybody that's watching now who, think, who has a contrary view based on what you have said uh, would have a, a right of reply. But basically, how, exactly. do we, why do we, how do we verify that these claims are true? Uh, thank you very, very much. Hmm. You, you, want, you, you, are, you are a journalist. There are 16 people in the Federation. I mean, about 14 people in the Federation. Mm -hmm. 
I can give you your addresses. I don't want to call, call, call uh, their names. I can give you your addresses. When PIC used to sponsor us, if you want, I will send you the, 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 the PIC agreement. PIC used to give to the, to, 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 to the Federation a certain of amount of money every year. Mm -hmm. That can assist us. But this company that we are wearing now, what are they giving to us? So you think, on my honor as a colonel in the army, I will come to your show, being shown around the world to come and lie, lie to you? That is one. Two, I am a lawyer, eh? mm. and if you want to know, I was called to, to, to bar 1983 at the Nigerian Law School. So I am about 40-something years at the at the at the bar so i know what i am talking if i cannot substantiate those facts i won't come here but since you want to find if you want after this program you call me i will send you the documents i will send you names of people that you can it is not a hidden fact i i'm surprised they don't know no 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 this okay we know those who own the, the company are also members of the board. So what we are doing, we are, we are just advertising, we are using our national team to, to pursue their own personal interests. Simple as that. So go and verify. Anybody who has a contract review, talk to me. Oh. So to ask us why we don't have funds to, to run events. Our under-18 team that uh, went to South Africa, a father of one of the players had to give give money to the to, to the, the team that is how bad things are but i thought you will call me yet let's talk about uh what is what is making there not to be sponsorship yeah but now but since you are no no we are look Connor. we, 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 we are on, we're yeah? discussing that yeah we want okay. to know we want to just know a foundation uh, what build the foundation to you know the no real problem. the real meat of what we're going to talk about, which is the fact yeah, okay. that okay, so how do we turn things around? How do we you know uh, if if the leadership, the current leadership is is one that you think has um, very very um, significant shortcomings? Are there examples from the past that 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 showed that we got it right? And if there aren't. What do we do next yeah. when when yeah. when we get to yes. this? What do we have to do to get the right leadership in place? Yes, uh, first uh, let me take your question in uh, in uh, a bit. Because when you lump all, we we attempt to operambulate or go around the the bush. Oh, okay, okay. No Are problem. there times that that we have had it right in the past? Yes. Up till uh, 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 2009. Okay. From here, yes, because I, I have been involved in Nigerian basketball since 1967 when I started playing. But I, I, I became a member of the Nigerian Basketball Federation in 1990. I have been, been there. You will never hear about this. Why? Selfless leadership. Even when we used to disagree with the with the leadership of the board, what we say, ah, Mr. President, what you have done here is not the right thing. Let's do it this way. They will never hold it personal against you. Mm. Unfortunately, our Nigerian basketball has been turned to 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 like a cult of a personalities. We love the, the individuals more than we love the spot so the so so the so the, the leaders cannot do any wrong mm. you remember the last time you, you invited me to come for this pro, pro for this same program and i told you no yeah because of who whom you whom you invited i won't come why because it will turn to a back and forth so when leaders of an organization have formed their own minds always have an, an excuse don't mind that guy he is frustrated. Don't mind him. He thinks if he's not in charge, it will not work. But my record speaks for, for me. Even before, I'm seeing you for the first time, but you have already really heard about me. Mm. I'm the only club in Nigeria to have hosted an African club championship. 
I hosted the African Club Championship of 12 teams in 2006. Dodan Warriors host, hosted Africa. And we, we, we won bronze. But that was the first time FIBA uh, 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 had a 12 team. And we, 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 we hosted it. So I want the viewers or people to know I'm, I'm, I'm not talking just for talking sake. Mm. I know m my onions. I may sound very immodest. Mm. But I am not known for modesty. That's not my own. I want to speak the the, the facts. So it is it has turned to, to personal. Two, I am speaking out. There are lots of board members that won't speak out. They will be they will be talking behind. No, I'm, I'm not that. My brother, I served in the Nigerian Army for 32 years. I have I, I've given my life to the Nigeria. So I don't think there's any anybody that will just come and tell me to to, to call me. So anyway, that that is uh, that is an aside. So that is that that is the uh, the the, uh, the the point. What did you say again? You said um, that, that, so. How do we avert this going okay, forward? Fine. How do we get the right so, yeah, leadership? Good. Now, yes, no, no, no. There is nothing like see the problem with us in Nigeria. We want to take. Uh, 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 a solution that is meant for problem A and carry it to problem D. No. The unfortunate thing there is, is that we are in such a way that, like I said, we, we worship individuals instead of institutions. And for as long as we, that is our own, election will come even on our board that we have now, we have people that have never done anything with the basketball. But they are on the board. And they are playing bigger roles. They are, they are, they, they are, they, they are even set. And they are the people that are misadvising the, the leadership. Everything now is politics over, uh, 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 what do you say, um, uh, uh, Competency. Yeah. Now you will talk about Weber. I I am glad you you said oh you spoke to Weber. I was just smiling. Weber is a is somebody that I brought to Lagos from Ilorin. He played on my team. Weber is Weber today at, at the risk of sounding very immodest. When he was to do his uh, his, his housemanship in, uh, in in mechanical or something engineering, I took him to my friend in metal furniture because then I was I used to import the basketball floors and uh, an upright. And when he saw one of them, he, he said, "Sir, I think I can I can do this." So I said, eh, "So you can do it." And that was very very nice. At least you read engineering. I took him to Mr. Farid Abu Hassan of Metal Furniture to go and do his, his youth call. That was when he was doing his youth call. And I told me, Mr. Farid, this boy has an idea. Please encourage him. They started giving him materials to start fabricating things and fabricating things. So I'm, I'm very, very happy with where he is. Look, as we are talking, you see his cap? Yeah. You see this? Yeah? Hmm. I am very, very proud, and I wear it because I know that I've touched the young man's life. Since you, you spoke to him on phone, call him and say, ah, do, 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 do you know Colonel Sam? And then you, you will uh, hear. Maybe by, 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 by chance he is watching this. Hmm. What am I saying? We have people. We have to encourage them. But somebody like Weber, how is the MBBF taking advantage of, of him? How? Are we taking of him? Are we even uh, marketing him? No. So the one I'm trying to say, let me say, is, is, is not to be a, 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 a leadership to be carrying portfolio or, or carry box. So you need to think outside the box. So next point. For us, well, my 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 happiness is, is that the, the tenure of this 
of this our board, including me, will soon be over, either in 2025 or, or in, in early 2026, either we will leave. We must ensure that whoever is coming to this board has an interest of the game, does not have an ulterior motive, is not there for his own business. Because what, what has come now, we say, the Nigerian Basketball Federation right now, as, as it is, has become a means to an end, in the sense that it is being run like, 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 like a business entity. Okay. My brother, Nigerian Basketball Federation does not have an account. Okay, Connor, we're going to come back to all of these things again, but we have to take a short break now. And when we come back, would you talk about what you finish your thoughts and then we'll focus on what we need to do to solve these problems so that we can make um, basketball a commercial success. Is it all to be left to the Federation? Can, are there other people who are outside of the Federation that can still do stuff with basketball? What exactly, based on the experience that you have and your current um, experience in the United States, what do you think, um, what kind of people do you think can still develop basketball even if the Federation is, um, is thumb sucking? All right, so we'll go on a very short break and uh, I'd encourage you to, to, to stay with Plus TV Africa. When we come back, this explosive edition will continue. Don't go away. Hello, you're welcome back to the program Sports Business with Orufo Ezaga. You're watching Plus TV Africa, and we're reaching you live from our studios in Victoria Island. On the program with me from the United States has been Colonel Sam Amedu, and it's been quite a revealing session um, so far. Now, you know, we've talked about all of the, the, the headwinds um, facing the basketball industry, and we want to look at the tailwinds, for instance, um, um, that the industry has. Okay, so there are a lot of problems. How do we move forward, right? And then basketball as a game is a very marketable sport. How do we become, how do we take our basketball in Nigeria and make products out of it that can become um, more commercially successful? For now, we tend to focus on the national teams. And anybody who understands sports business would understand that national teams account for less than 5% of the total business um, in any country, all right? So the, the, the attention must be on our domestic competitions. And right now, sadly, not just in basketball, but across virtually every, other, every sport in this country, our domestic competitions are neglected. So, Connell, yes. what do we do with basketball locally? Is it only the MBBF that can develop basketball? Can other people come into the basketball space and do something? What do you think? No, um, yes, you, 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 you are very, very uh, 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 right, because uh, first, I think that your, that your question is a rhetorical question. I don't think everybody needs to be looking for an answer. It speaks for, it, for itself. Mm. There are, there are, there are, there are uh, MBBF cannot do everything. Mm. And even if you look around, there are some individuals that are organizing competitions and, and, and events that are really helping the, the, the polity. Mm. Uh, like you, we have the, the Louis Edem uh, the championship, which is which comes up every every year. That helps all our teams, River Supers and others, play there. We have uh, 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 Onuche, uh, uh, Onuche Hansen on Onuche uh, competition. We also have um, uh, Olumide Oh, you did. You also just did uh, the, the, the the West African the Basketball League, and there are so many others. So there are many invitational tour, tour, tournaments all over the, the place. So there are many people that, that can that, that can do that, that can that can actually help, and some are helping, some can still help. Now, but the issue there is, is that. Everything does not have to come from the from the federation. Federation will do its part, mm. but the national league okay. is for the federation. 
Okay. And it's the winner of the National League that the world recognizes. That is who represents us in in Tough. in um, Bar. Yeah. But when but so but presently because of the this uh, this shortcomings, our National League has been turned to a glorified inter-house sports or what you call a glorified inter-secondary school school game. A, a team cannot play seven games in a year and say it is a national mm -hmm. champion. So structure is, is, is important. Planning is, is important and all these things are not there. Somebody wakes up overnight and says, okay, the National League will start next week. Who is prepared? What is, 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 is the calendar? Then two, uh, rules. We used to have league rules in the past. The Nigerian Premier Basketball League rules is there. But it is not being implemented. That was why I was telling you that a, 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 every year new new clubs join the league. Even the, this year now, even the female league, two new clubs have now joined. Nobody know where the 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 the, 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 the you came from. So some of us on the on the board don't even know. Mm. Since we have been uh, we have been removed from um, all the all the, all, the, all the, the committees, the board does not even approve the programs. We don't hear here in the National League, Nigerian Basketball League. Uh, federation that, that is one for the for the for the for the for the men every year we are changing we are changing we are changing we are changing so the structure that is that is uh, the, that is wrong for people that can that can help this league there are so many we have um, basketball lovers in the, in the in the corporate world uh, a lot of the people that have have invested in in the basketball african league are nigerians yeah they are Nigerians. They are about I know about five or six and Nigerians that have invested in the basketball Africa League. So if we if we arrange things well, charity must must begin at home. And it is not, not that they are not ready to come and uh, and and sponsor the league, but what what is there to get sponsor? That is. There is not. Why will a corporate man come and waste his, his money, waste his time when we say everything is not being done? The everything is uh, the, 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 the 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 transparency is not there. You want them to, to come and be funding league there tomorrow is 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 a funny thing will just come. Next tomorrow funny thing will come, and then you hear oh complain a complaint that that is that. Next, uh, okay, we've talked about. Uh, facilities. Mm. Uh, facilities are, are, are actually not, not there. No, but, but uh, let's, uh, let's dwell on that a bit. The facilities. Yes. Uh, most of the facilities we have now are, are, are from government, right? Yes, yes. Now, if, and most of our clubs are also... Are, are they not government clubs? No, no. Uh, okay, let, let me tell you. Yeah. Most of the facilities are from government, yes. Yeah. But that is the role of government. Okay, but what about the, by I, the clubs? Are the clubs not largely owned? Are, are many of them not owned by no, government no, no, or no, government not clubs uh, are, agencies? Are government. No, 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 no. I can count you clubs uh, that are not owned by government. Okay. Uh, government is not owned by by, the by government. The Lagos Legends is not owned by by government. Yeah. Golden Warriors is, is not owned by 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 the government. Um. Uh, 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 that team. Cost Sorry, cost. I can go cost on and. Uh, okay, now from here, let me go. Uh, Gombe, I'm not, I'm not, not Gombe Bulls. Yellow Hawks is not owned by 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 a government. Um, yeah, that is it. I've called legends. Okay, Dolphins is not owned by 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 the government. MFM is not going owned by 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 government. Uh, MFM, uh, uh, Dolphins, uh, um, Deep Water is not owned by 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 the government. So there are many clubs that are not owned by by government. Hmm. There is nothing wrong if if government or the paramilitary services own a, own clubs like uh, custom police, hmm. uh, Nigerian Army. Air Force. There, there is nothing wrong. We have all been uh, competing. 
among ourselves mm. for 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 long. I formed Jordan Warriors when I was in the army, but it wasn't an army team. Mm. It it was a private uh, a, a, a team. So okay. it's not about government, government, government. Government have their role to play. Government can even fund their own club. Mm. The problem is that there is no sustainable program to develop those clubs. Clubs. Those clubs sit sit idle. For nine months, then mm. two weeks they just write a letter. Yeah, division one is starting in, uh, in 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 two weeks, and then you see people running to the field, in line in line, pass the ball, play, then they then they start playing. I'm afraid soon people may soon start dropping dead on the court because there is no medical tests. People who have not played for for nine months are just thrown onto the field. When you talk, they say, hey, "Now you, there is no money." Uh, you you know Sam, you want to talk as if you are the one that knows everything. Well, sorry, sorry if you if you think I I am proud and I know what I'm saying. I'm proud of of what I'm saying, and that is why I have the recognition I have across the 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 world. But in a country where people that don't know want to be directing people who 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 know, that is the problem. Oh, in Nigeria. To today, I'm the only technical delegate. Sorry, I'm not saying because it's me, 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 me. Yeah. What does that mean? To be a technical delegate, you have started as a math commissioner, yeah, as a technical uh, a commissioner and a technical delegate. Technical delegate now, we, we it encompasses all aspects of the game: marketing, television, uh, medical, uh, 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 media, everything. Yes, media. But none. And then I am the one that the same board will say, I beg, let him not serve on any committee. Take him out. Yeah, he talks too much. Yes, I am I am proud to talk. God gave me mouth. Isn't it to talk? If God gave me mouth and I cannot speak, speak out, it's okay. not a cause. Uh, okay. So, so, yeah. so that is the... Sorry, I'm just adding some my own. No, no, for, no problem. Oh. For illustrative uh, 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 purposes, that's to tell you how I am really mad with the opportunities that we have that we are really throwing it away. I first, some people will tell you Sam wants to be president. No, I ran for president in 1997. Count, I mean, maybe you were not born. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, was, Help, no sorry. I was a fully grown man. Well, okay, great. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. I ran for president in 1997. And since that time, I found out that, wow, uh, politics in Nigeria is not who is capable any, 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 anymore. It's who you know at, at times, what you can bring. But one thing that, like you said, you don't have to be on the board to support this sport. You don't have to be on the. Everybody is struggling. I want to be MBBF. I want to, to enter the, the 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 board. Blah blah. No, there is nothing there unless you find a way to make money for yourself. But technically speaking, if the board is being run, the board is like an NGO. It's a norm for the profit. But however, so, so, so oh, there are rules. Yeah. But those rules are not being followed. Okay, as let me I speak. Okay, let me ask. Let me ask um, uh, Cornell. Today, yes. private equity funds around the world and even sovereign wealth fund funds are are chasing sports properties. New sports yes. pro properties are being developed, for instance, like the yes. Leaf Golf, and you know the botched attempt at the at, at creating a European um, Super League yes. for football. Super League. Yeah. Yes. If a a, an investment firm, you know, comes to yes. the MBBF with the idea of a league, for instance. Yeah, yes. is this something? But it's a league that is controlled by this investment body. Uh, would the MBBF be be open to any such arrangements? Um, or do you think they should brother, be open to any such arrangements? Yes. Well, uh, thank you very, very much. Actually, since we have been talking, 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 this is the time that I feel that I've had. What what is what is really a key key point? Good to so the point that you have raised. Mm. The board should be ready to listen, but uh, but I doubt if this present this my present board will listen. Why? 
whatever we are not in control of, we don't accept. And, and let me just let, let me let me inform you. People have come to the board, have have indicated to the board how they can raise money for the board. Okay, sorry, raising money and this investment funding and blah blah, they are two different things, but yeah, they yeah. are similar. Mm. Because at the end, what you're looking for is to have funds to be able to sustain your own program. People have come to us. Some some board members have suggested, let's get a marketer. But no, our we want to be the the, 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 the leaders, we want to be the, the marketers, we want to be the spenders of the funds. Want to be the spenders that will determine who will uh, move with the team, who will not move with the team. So we every that's why I say this thing now is becoming like a cult. Let me tell you, people have come in the past. If you ask some of our board the members, they have they have suggested it, but uh, but for right now it has come to 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 not. So some of us have even said, okay, like see what NFF has done with. Um, uh, this firm that and 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 Nelson GTI, yeah, okay, you okay? See, for for what what it is what this is just a starting point. Mm. Well, you can see now that at least league uh, the, the soccer league league uh, champion is saving here here one hundred million uh, second blah blah blah. The club are starting to have money. Referees are being paid on time. Right mm. now we are owing. The referees, we are owing clubs. Even some of our players that went to have played international, we, we cannot prepare them. So, this your idea is very, very good. So, whoever is going to be, whoever are going to be the next people on the next board, this will be a saving grace that the federation should concentrate on the national teams and leave the management of league and, and the development of the internal uh, sports when I say internal sports, they lead for men, for women, on yeah. the and lead yeah. them to this, this uh, the sovereign people that, that you have just said. Mm. That, will, that will help us. Because we need to think outside the box. The, box yeah. the era of saying that maybe or guy, I'm a guy, anything comes through me, blah, blah. The NFF have realized that they have changed. And we are talking uh, basketball. This should not really apply to basketball because the number one sponsor of Basketball Africa League is Hennessy. Yeah. And they are in Nigeria. Hennessy, NBA Africa got that sponsorship from Nigeria. And we have had time to speak with, with, the, with the NBA guys. Ah, how can Hennessy be sponsoring uh, NBA? And they, but they are not sponsoring Nigeria League. They, they, they said, uh, Econel, what league do you have? <laughs> Tell me what you have. Okay, okay. What do you have? Is this your five day league yeah. or your seven day league or no facility and blah blah? So, so you are very, very right. That is a very good means. Yeah. But overall, the uh, our our, our uh, authorities should 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 ensure that whoever is coming to the board let has something to offer to the board. The idea that you are on the board because your brother is the head or or your friend is the head or your uncle is the deep blah 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 that that should be a thing of the past past okay so um connor one we need to bring this home um it's been a, a very entertaining hour an explosive one for that matter and um but i won't let you go until i ask this question and it's something yes. we've talked about um so far the basketball league africa What's yes. your impression of the Basketball League Africa? Because, like you said, I also noticed that a lot of the sponsors for Baal are Nigerian sponsors. Yeah? Yet we don't have it. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, the whole idea of the, the Basketball Africa League, you know, uh, you play, you win in Nigeria, you become Nigerian champions, and then you go play in Baal, and you have to use players you know, other players to try and... So I'm, I'm wondering, how does this develop basketball in Africa? You know, how do you guys in FIBA see this? Because I know FIBA is behind this, supportive of this as well. How does this develop basketball in, in, the, in, in different countries or the local federations? Okay, and yes. And um, Nigeria uh, because of the sponsorship. No, good, yes. Uh, thank you for the, for the, the question. 
um, uh, like they say, um, 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 the 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 minority may 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 have their say, mm. but the majority will have their own way. Mm. That is a very a vital point. Uh, I but what I want to just try to I will try to to explain how if, if uh, sees it. Okay, Connor, uh, we have we have two we have two you, minutes, Connor. Eh? We have how many minutes? Two minutes, two minutes, sorry. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, now, fine. Well, two, three, yes. FIBA, the reason why foreign players are involved because NBA is, is, is the one that funds it. Mm. Basketball Africa League is not sponsored done by FIBA, it's by the NBA. NBA brings all the funds. So they want to raise the entertainment value of the game. And that is why it is shown on ESPN Live all over the world. And that is a market. So, and that is where we get the funding from. He who pays the piper dictates the tune. So, that is how it comes to Korean foreign players. Play. But FIBA also said, okay, if the local players uh, know that they can play in bar, because people that play in bar are well paid, uh, everything, transport, flying, and all that, hotel, go. Cool. Then it will make them to step up their own their own game in Africa too, in their own clubs. Yes. But unfortunately in Nigeria, it does not apply because Nigeria doesn't play a a league. We just play like a one week event or two weeks event. But other countries like in Africa, uh, South Sudan and Co that are playing league, you see how their men's team are they, they are shooting up. Okay. But we are not because we we will just play the like river super slam. They, they, okay, they have one and one and one. Okwara, Okwara Falcons. Once they win the, the the championship that we call league, and then they are they are nominated. They go and look for six uh, for uh, foreign players with uh, Nigerian names. They are deemed to be Nigerians, but they are not playing here. So at the end, how many of our local players? That is to to. To underscore your point, to buttress your own point. How many of our local players really feel the bar? Like okay. the last bar now. Okay, okay, Connor. Only a few. Connor, Connor, we have run out of time. I'm sorry. Uh, well, right. so, so the next time you call me, give me four hours. Uh, I, I will be <laughs> ready. So there's still well, there's still room for engagement. There's still a, a lot. Okay, I'm, good. There's still a lot. I'm sure you have to say, and um, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. Going yeah. To, yes. We're going to reach yes. out to you for some more in the future. Thank you very much for okay. honoring this invitation, by the way. And um, it's yeah, been you. it's been a very entertaining, 40, a very insightful 45, 15 minutes. All right. And so, uh, thank viewers, you. thanks for for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back again next week with another edition of Sports Business with Orufo Ezaga. Until we do. This is me, Rufo, saying be productive, be good, and stay safe.